morning students welcome to the session as we are discussing a new subject lesson seven the girl was an fnat in standard first language english students so today is the third session where we have discussed up to seven paragraphs of this lesson so let's uh, continue the paragraph in this session children open your textbook observe the lines and understand the explanation children so where in the previous period in the sixth paragraph we learnt we came to know that the warm personality of uh, Anna Frank's father, a days of tough run, of not cutting the modest wages, where the business was not up to a profit, he didn't cut the wages. Apart from that, the courage and the support that. He had the might to give his two girls a good education that uh, we noticed in the previous period. So, seventh paragraph, follow the line children. As a pupil, Anna Frank was not a particularly brilliant. Most people believed with her parents that Margaret, her elder sister, was more promising. Anne was chiefly remarkable for the early interest she took in other people. She was emotional and strong-willed, a real problem child. Her father once told me a great talker and fond of nice clothes. Life in town, where she was usually surrounded by a chattering crowd of girlfriends suited her exactly. This was a lucky fact because the Frank family could only rarely afford a holiday nor did they own a car. So in this paragraph, the nature of the girl child that is uh, Anna Frank with reference to that of the elder sister Margaret is uh, given. So here, Anne was not brilliant as of uh, Margaret, and uh, whereas Anne was uh, a child where she likes to uh, sit and chat with a crowd of girlfriends, and she was emotional and strong-willed uh, child as uh, her father uh, told here in this paragraph, and uh, also. Uh, this was a, a fact that uh, suited to the Anne Frank as the family could only rarely afford a holiday. So this is about the, the explanation where uh, we are getting uh, the answers for uh, fifth question B and also ninth question in our exercise children. That is, uh, what impression did people have about Anna? So, about Anna, people think that, uh, believe that uh, her parents, that uh, Margaret and also others say that uh, her elder sister was more promising and whereas Anna Frank was uh, not particularly brilliant. And uh, another question, ninth question, that is, uh, uh, what was the left, uh, lucky fact that is, life in town here, she was usually surrounded by a chattering crowd of girlfriends, suited her exactly. The next uh, eight paragraph, uh, when the Nazis invaded the Netherlands in May 1940, the Franks were trapped earlier than most uh, Jews in Amsterdam. Otto Frank realized that the time might come when he and his family would have to go into hiding. He decided to hide in his own business office, which faced one of Amsterdam's tree-lined canals. A few derelict rooms 
on the upper floors called the annex were secretly prepared to house both the frank and the van don families so may 1940 nazi people invaded the netherlands and whereas uh, uh, the most jews in amsterdam were uh, emigrated and trapped by these uh, uh, nazis so otto frank uh, realizing that uh, he planned to hide uh, himself with uh, his family along with the van den family and he decided to hide uh, in his own business office that is of uh, annex so here yeah, annex is what uh, meaning word meaning i have to learn word meaning annex annex is the we added or we added to a building to a building so there is a derelict room so derelict room not clear not clean so derelict is a bad condition bad condition so in the upper floor of that annex uh, uh, the rooms which are not uh, clean upper floors uh, so there out of land is a let to hide early 19 42 July Margot Frank was called up for a deportation but she did not go straight away the Franks moved into their hiding place and the van dance followed shortly afterwards four months later they took into their camped cramped lodgings another geo dentist so 1942 July the early month early of that month uh, uh, margaret frank was called up margaret frank means a uh, sister of anna frank called for a uh, deportation it is a uh, deportation forcing to leave country deportation deportation is a uh, forcing forcing to leave country But she didn't go straight away. The Franks moved into their hiding place, along with the Van Dans. Followed shortly afterwards, and there, in a cramped lodgings, cramped means not having enough space. Ah, uh, that uh, narrow rooms. That is a uh, cramped meaning. Like a uh, cramped means a uh, not having. not having enough space enough space in a room that is not having a enough not having enough space in a room that is what we mentioned as a cramp that is a narrow another word should be called narrow So next up, uh, tenth paragraph, song bird in hiding. There were uh, light. There were eight hundred people. Any sound, any light might uh, betray their presence. A tenuous link with the outside was provided by the radio and by four courageous members of Otto Frank's staff. Two of them typists who, in secret, uh, brought food, magazines, books. the only other company they had was a cat totally eight members hide themselves in the annex and whereas the otto franks stock members four courageous stock members among the two typists are supplying food magazines and books for this and only the company was a cat to them while in hiding and decided to continue a diary which her parents had given her 
on her 13th birthday. She described life in the annex with all its inevitable tensions and quarrels. But she credited first and foremost wonderfully delicate record of adolescence, sketching with complete honesty a young girl's thoughts and feelings, her longing and loneliness. I feel like a songbird whose wings have been brutally torn out and who is flying in utter darkness against the bars of its own cage. She wrote when she had been isolated from the outside world for nearly 16 months. Two months later, she had filled every page of the diary, a small book bound in a tartan cloth. Tartan cloth and one of the typist, Mia, gave her an ordinary exercise book. Later, she used Margaret's chemistry exercise book to write the diary. So, tartan means a tartan in a glossary, it is given. Children turn the page to the glossary where tartan means a woolen cloth with a woven patterns of straight lines of different colors crossing at the right angles. So, here after that uh, diary completion that uh, she got uh, as a gift, uh, she started writing uh, on a exercise book, order the exercise book uh, and then afterwards she used Margaret's chemistry exercise book. Then she expressed all uh, her adolescence and feelings and uh, longingness. Twelfth paragraph children, her diary reveals the trust she puts in a wise father, her grief because as she feels it, uh, her mother does not understand her. The ecstasy of a first uh, rapturous case exchanged with the band dancer, 17 year old son. Finally, the flowery personality eager to face life with uh, adult courage and mature self inside. On a slip of paper, Anna wrote the favorite names which she intended to use in case of publication. For the first time, being the diary was the, her own secret which she wanted to keep from everyone, especially from the grumpy dentist with whom she had to share her tiny bedroom. Her father allowed her to put her diaries in his briefcase. He never read them until after her death. So, this is about up to 14th paragraph where she wrote her feelings and as the advice of her father, she put her diaries in the briefcase. Okay, so let's stop here. Next period we will discuss 15th paragraph onwards. Okay, children, take care. Bye.